Hi guys, this is Aaron from Wine Cult and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. So today we're talking about the 2021 Pavette Cabernet Sauvignon. But first, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, now if you're already subscribed but you haven't joined the club, please consider joining our monthly wine membership uh, so you can get all the wines we discuss on this channel. Now, there's really nothing better in my mind uh, than drinking a delicious wine while learning everything you can about it. And you can find the link to joining our club membership uh, in the video description below. So this is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon coming from the Lodi ABA in California. Uh, after picking, it went under whole cluster fermentation, primarily, I should say, and then spontaneous malolactic fermentation in stainless steel tanks, followed by aging in a regimen of oak barrels, uh, fudras, and tank for about 14 months. Winemaker Baron Ziegler is a man of many talents uh, and has had the entrepreneurship bug since he was about 15 years old. Uh, he started out by buying Bordeaux Futures at the age of 15, so that's pretty precocious in my mind, uh, the sale of which later funded the down payment for a Boston condo while in college at Boston University. At 18, he was hired by Food & Wine Magazine's 2012 top sommelier, Peter Eastlake, to work uh, in his wine retail shop under the radar. Uh, he was there for about three years. Uh, and by 21, he was managing three stores and purchasing wine by the container. So uh, Barron then ultimately deferred medical school to work for a uh, James Beard award-winning wine importer, Eric Solomon. After managing most of the East Coast for five years, he ultimately took over the role of national sales director, where he ran essentially all aspect of sales for the next five years. In 2007, he moved to California, and two years later, his first wine label, Banshee Wines, became a reality. That was then followed by his founding of Valkyr Selections, those are his import wines, uh, his label Averin out of Oregon, and Valervin from Sonoma, then Requiem from Washington State, and Pavette here in California. He ultimately sold Banshee Wines in 2018, and then quickly created Marine Layer, as well as Halcon, in partnership with winemaker Pax Molly of Pax Wines, which some of our members will remember from having received his rosé a couple of months back. So you could say Baron is a uh, poster child for diversification within his wine portfolio, and we are pretty enamored with his ability to keep pushing forward with his dreams. Barron partnered with winemaker Rob Fisher in 2017 with the goal of ultimately showcasing their passion and drive with a small family project. So Pavette means little peacock, uh, and it's an appropriate name for this showy wine that's essentially strutting its stuff uh, at such a diminutive price. Um, jokes aside, we believe that high quality wine can be found at most any price point. And this is a great example of a fantastic cab for under $20. Like a dark chocolate covered cherry, uh, supple, it's just full of current plum, uh, even notes of cacao nib. Uh, this cab is such a steal that you can really enjoy it any night of the week with hearty meals like steak or mashed potatoes, stuffed mushrooms, uh, even carne asada tacos. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. Also, visit us at www.joinwinecult.com if you're interested in joining the club or being a part of one of our live tasting events. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.